We're playing Brutal Orchestra. I was incepted to play this by uh, some people on Twitter. They said, hey, Anel, you should play Brutal Orchestra. You would like it a lot. I say, I remember. It was like December of last year or 2021, and people were like, you should play this game. And for I was probably heavily super auto pets addicted or something like that. And I said, I don't have the time. I played uh, 25 hours of SAP this week on stream. Now I have the time, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out, okay? From what I understand, it is a turn-based strategy roguelite. And that's basically all I know, except it also has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. And that's about it. You have died. What? Don't worry. It happens to the best of us. This is purgatory. You will never escape this place. You know what? It's It's got the subtitles like the Jennifer Lawrence movie trailer. Where it pops up the words in different places on the screen based on... This game must be a huge hit with the, uh, with the TikTok Zoomers. Cooperate with me and I will ensure you exact brutal revenge. Heh. A petty goal. But let's be honest. You're not above this. So I'm dead now? Do we have a deal? New Star Wars character just dropped. I get nothing, but that is more than enough. Now, do we have a deal? I'm with you. You're dead. What are you going to do? This is why, again, I know that we've gone through this before with the Sisyphus thing. You, one must imagine Sisyphus happy because what else is he going to do? Was he going to be miserable forever? No, you got it. Life finds a way. I think that if I was in purgatory and somebody came to me and said, hey, here's like some, uh, here's, here's motivation for you. I wouldn't question it. What am I going to do? Just wander the sands of purgatory forever? Give me a goal and then we'll break that goal down into smaller goals and we'll get a little, maybe you could give me like some micro currency or something. Give me some grains of sand in an hourglass every time I get like 10% of the way to completing my goal. Keep the carrot on the stick in front of me. That's life. Before we proceed. This will all be simpler if I knew your name, if you ever even had one. My name, Nowak. The demon recoils as if paint. Nowak, really? Well, Nowak, my name is Bosch. Is that an Amazon Prime original show? Purgatory's landscape is deeply incoherent. You can't navigate it without me. I'll present you with points of interest that converge to our ultimate goal. Follow these shortcuts and you'll never find yourself trapped in the nonsensical geometry of the world. Anything that's not a basic hallway is nonsensical to me. So as far as I'm concerned, this is business as usual. Fate will do the rest. Okay? Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to start by ranking up. We, we don't have any money currently. All right, fair enough. It's a fish. <laughs> no walk. Can't attack anymore. We have a timeline at the top. Bosh. Why are these fish trying to fight me? I didn't do anything to them. What? Why would I know that? Listen, just kill them quickly so we can get moving. How? I don't know. Stomp them or something. Muscle memory. What? Okay, click on yourself and select an ability. Then just hit perform ability and end your turn. By the way, I have to tell you because people are talking about the animal uh, tier list as well. Someone, they deleted the tweet right as I was replying to it, so you know they messed up. But someone tweeted me and said, you really still think you can outrun this animal? And then they showed me a video of a panda doing the laziest jog I've ever seen in my life. And then falling over and doing a somersault and then getting up and running like at what I would describe as a very leisurely pace. I, I was typing the reply as their tweet got deleted. I said no disrespect to this bear in particular, but I'm 100 meters off by the time he even does the first somersault. Click reply. It said the tweet you're trying to reply to has been deleted. Embarrassing. Anyway. I was being sarcastic. Well, then why'd you delete the tweet? 
Why'd you delete the tweet then? Why did I have the bowl, Bart? Rough takedown. Deal 6 damage to the opposing enemy. Attempted parry. Deal 5 damage to the opposing enemy and move them. Unfocused wrath. Gain focus. 1% chance to refresh this party member. Lucky pigment. 40% chance of obtaining lucky pigment upon performing an ability. Okay, I'll do a rough takedown on Mung. Okay, you have been smoked. Wow. You've got some pent-up anger, don't you? Don't look now, but there's more than blood on your hands. See those red orbs down below? I do I do see them. That's pigment. Everything in purgatory bleeds the stuff. In fact, you had to use some pigment to even perform that ability. I see. Don't worry about pigment too much for now, but try not to let it overflow. What happens if it overflows? You instantly die. I'm just kidding. You die slowly. Okay. In that case, I feel like I should not attack you, because didn't this cost me... This cost me two. Maybe it only cost me one. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Do I have to move my man? Maybe I just end my turn because the button's on the screen. Okay, the fish sobs. He's giving me some blue pigment. Move. I know, I know. Just use your mouse and drag yourself to where you need to be. There are five positions you can move to and five opposite positions your enemy will occupy. There's a subtle grid on the ground that reveals these positions. Keep in mind where your abilities hit is based on your position. You can move and perform one ability per turn, but you don't have to do both. Okay, I have moved you to the right. You like how I had my camera position good to go right from the right from the start? I'm thinking I'm back. We've gained three currency. That takes us to a total of three currency. Those defenseless fish didn't stand a chance. You know, all the best serial killers start out killing small animals as well. You have potential. All right, give my head a tap. When you want to get moving again, I'll let you know where we can head to. Do I have to tap your head? Couldn't I just tell you I'm ready to go? No, and make sure you don't have any unfinished business. Is she telling me to use the potty? Okay, we got a zombie. That's not a zombie, I think it's just a guy. Go make us some allies. We'll need all the help we can get. It's okay, I understand. It's not, it's not the game's fault. This is a me thing. I have undiagnosed adult onset ADHD. This one looks like he still has some fight left in him. And the kind of self-loathing we can work with. Go talk to him and figure out what we're dealing with. We're looking for a traveling companion. Would you be interested in traveling with us? To try to find some place better than this? We? Oh, uh, you look a wee... You look a wee bit too lonely to be a wee. Hit your head a touch too hard. What are you doing in my swamp? God, this guy's a dick. Okay, geez, I got the message. Have fun rotting here, I guess. Nah, come back. So what is this plan of yours? We go parade ourselves into oblivion looking for heaven or something? No, it's more like I'm in. As long as you promise it'll be more exciting than rotting here. I, if, I would like to think that if I was in purgatory, I would at least be building like a sandcastle or something. He's nowhere near me! Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Kiss me every time. It's flowy. Sound is... Uh, the sand is metaphorical? Bro, did you hear our footfalls? Ain't nothing metaphorical about the... Hello. You are forming a colony? I wish to integrate into this pre-colonial mass. He's buying low. He's a founder. I am being rejected. No, you can come with us. Are you able to fight? I can't inflict harm effectively. However, my being is antiseptic in nature. Perhaps my value could be derived from mitigating incoming harm. I will accompany your traveling party until I succumb to asphyxiation. Great, we're barely into this journey. You've made friends with a talking hemorrhoid. Hans has become an ally. Super hands. Source of one of my favorite uh, quotes from any comedic media ever. It's just water, Lego. Isn't it? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, now, do, now the strategy begins. Why do the fish have bodies now? Oh, this one I actually know. They want revenge for you killing their friends earlier. And they couldn't kick your ass without feet, so they found some. Are you serious? Before you go getting beaten to death here... If you ever don't have the right pigment to get the job done, you can always drag in the wrong one. Doing this will hurt you a bit, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
Okay. Mud lung decay. I go first, then three enemies go. I imagine you're gonna attack, you're gonna do some you're gonna sob and you are gonna create a shield. Alright. Well, let's I'm gonna start with you then. Obviously. What do we got here? Gain focus. Deal five damage to the opposing enemy and move them left or right. You're are you the one that's about to attack? No, you're the one that's about to attack. Okay. So I sort of, I'm you know what I could do? Does this is there a way it, it always just hits the enemy that's in front of us? Is that correct? Or is it uh I don't listen, we'll figure it out. Maybe there's some moves that have like a darkest dungeon effect. They can only they hit to the sides or something. Or they always hit ex uh, opposing enemies. Oh, opposing enemy is always the one that's right across from you. Okay, understood. Well, I, I feel like it just makes sense to me. Because this, this guy just sobs. So we don't need to kill him. So why don't we... You got 15 HP. You're like our tank. Why don't I attempt to parry you? And then that'll push you over here. And then if you attack this guy, he's got more, he's got more life anyway. Or I guess, now that I think about it, I could maybe set it up so their attack whiffs if their attacks always hit forbidden enemies. But anyway, let's just perform it to start with, okay? I have hit you, and I have swapped you to the right. And now I am going to be hit instead, okay? I guess left or right, we don't choose. So we've used an ability. How do we see the, the cost of the ability as well? Every turn we generate three yellow pigments. Or does every ability cost... The, no, oh, it's it, right down here. So attempted parry only costs one. Rough takedown costs two. Unfocused wrath costs three of, of any kind. I don't think I want to do this. Oh, three of this. No, okay. I should move out of the way so I don't get hit. I don't know, I'm just going, I'm, I'm trying to go a little too crazy with it. I already used an ability, so I can't use another one anyway. Okay, either way, I don't want to get hit. So I'm going to move to like here. And then I'll end my turn. And then your attack is going to... I get to go again. <laughs> do, I, do I get to go again? I'm... I apologize to the developers, this is me. Oh, I thought the timeline was like, um, this guy on our party goes first. And then eventually you would be like maybe fourth and you would be fifth in the timeline or something. Okay, so we got, we got Danny Boyle. Five damage to the left and the right enemies. One damage to opposing enemy. Well then put the, put the pigment back here. I'm a fool. And what moves do you have? Heal this party member. Heal left and right allies three health. Deal one damage to the opposing enemy. This is essentially, you're, you're just a healer. You mentioned that. Okay. I think we should be this guy. Five damage to left and right enemies. Well, to me, I got some plays, okay? When do you go? We don't know yet. I don't want to get hit by you. So I feel like we should just deliver eight damage to the opposing enemy. Let's let's just deliver um, five damage to the left and right enemies. And then maybe move this lad. This, this lad is acceptable in his current position. And then you... Let me drag this pigment back. What do we got here? We could slap for one. But I don't want to leave this... Oh, I guess we can leave him in a position where he gets hit. Why not? Let's just get a kill. Slap this guy. Nobody needs to be healed yet anyway. Okay. I appreciate you having some patience while we while we figure out the, the base systems here. So we are going to get hit a little bit. They've they've gulped. No, they did not... They didn't do any damage. They gulped to get some shields. Okay. You might have figured this out already, but you can even swap to positions that are occupied. If you do that, both of you will just switch places. Okay, got it. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I feel like I should just, um, feel like I should immediately open up by just dealing five damage to you. And send them. 
And then you, sir, I'm going to drag you over here and I'm going to deal 8 damage to you um, because you have 7 HP. You have been killed and I'm probably the best to ever play the game. Except you also left a fish behind in your wake. How about that? But you're not going to, you don't get to do anything this turn. So I'm going to hot swap, boil. Oh, it cannot swap. Did I already move you? Maybe after this you can't swap. Maybe I, I don't know. Listen, we could, we could swap you like that then. And then, I don't know, just give you a little smack. Why not? We're on over... So we need to spend... When we start doing more damage to enemies, we have to spend more pigment. Otherwise, we start to take damage. I, I get the picture. Okay, why don't... Move this over. Six damage to the opposing... I've already used it an ability this turn. I need to find a way to use some pigment, but I can't... I end my turn. It's okay. What's 2% of, of 12 is nothing anyway. Are you on the moon? Excuse me, I'm in, I'm in purgatory. You pressed X, not end turn. It's my mistake. Okay, get smoked. I should have mentioned earlier, but I know exactly what the enemy is going to do. At the top of the screen, there's a timeline. Yeah, he's going to attack. I know. I know. Payment required? That's, there's nothing wrong with that. We'll give him one of these. And we got some focus. Well, focus, they deal... Okay, we'll read that next time. All right, time to do this for real. Choose a path ahead and lead the way. I'm clicking. I'm clicking like... You can hear me clicking like a madman. Um... I'm going to assume bloom, uh, blue is helpful to us and red is an enemy. Let me go blue and maybe he'll join my party. Arnold sniffed to himself. We're looking to form a traveling party. Are you interested in coming with us? Oh, you want me to join your little boys club? See the world? Get eaten alive by some oversized eel? All right, but I asked for something simple in exchange. I want you to take all your thoughts and shove them so far up your ass I can't even hear a smothered whisper. You're a dick. Whatever. Goodbye. Arnold hisses more cruelties quietly to himself. Well, that didn't go well. I thought they would help us or something. Most people down here are just weirdos waiting to waste away. Not everyone is useful. Best not to dwell too hard on it. Or maybe I could talk to him more. Tell you what, pie chart. You rub those two remaining brain cells of yours hard enough together to make a spark to form a thought. Once you do that, let me know. Then we'll talk. Can you, can you kill Arnold? No, we're leaving. Okay, goodbye, Arnold. Um, let me get some iron underwear. You have obtained five golden coins. You can even buy people. Don't think too hard about it. You can also use... You're not buying people, you're buying their labor. It's a legal distinction, okay? Where does the money go when I spend it on ranking up? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, we have five... We have 11 money. My mistake. I can rank you up for 10. You'll get a confident parry, a brutal takedown, and a writhing wrath. Confident parry does 7 damage. Brutal takedown does 8 damage. How about this? Hardened Clobber does 8 damage to 2 enemies. Spine Crusher does 11. I would, I would rank up Boyle, even though he hasn't done uh, anything for us so far. No disrespect or whatever. I would like to fight this guy then. This doesn't appear to be a fight. Never mind, it's obviously a fight. <laughs> okay, he's... Let me look at these passives. The enemy's health color can't be changed. Alright, this game is... Too complicated for me. <laughs> this is a preview of what's to come. <laughs> Upon death, attempt to change all other enemies' health to the health color of this enemy. Upon taking direct damage, this enemy will attempt to move to the left or right. Okay, well, I know what I should do first then. Let's start with moving you over here. And then can you please do...
I guess this is too expensive, right? We don't have the... Or we have exactly enough for it, but then you'll spit out some as well. Oh, you need reds for it. Oh, this guy can't do anything. All he can do is a little slap. I can't move him anymore. Okay, I need red pigment. Here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to send... I'm going to send Nowak over here to do some damage. Do me a favor and do six damage to the opposing enemy, which will give me some red pigment. It gave me some yellow pigment, because he is yellow health! I get it! <laughs> that enemy's health is in red, so you're going to be getting different colors of pigment from them. Make sure you're leaving yourself with the kinds of pigment you need. I, I, I understand now, to some extent. Okay, now what you need, you need some blues for this, but we can use the wrong color of pigment, right? It just like, it hurts us a little bit. So I can, I can legally kill you. 20% self damage. Never tell me the odds. Well, he's just going to bubble anyway. Whatever, I'm doing it. Send him. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. You, um, you're just, uh, we're going to pass turn. End turn on that one. Flood. You flooded me with yellow pigment. That doesn't seem bad at all. Um, let me start by, by having Hans, perhaps. Oh, but the ha when Hans uses the wrong color pigment, it's going to hurt as well. Oh, he can overflow you. Well, I think we should just swap you. Let's just make sure you die then. You know, it's a roguelike. You don't have to be perfect on the first try. Transfusion, focus. Whoa, look at you. Looks like you have become focused. While focused, you deal bonus damage. Taking any damage will cause you to lose focus. Enjoy it while it lasts. He attempted to turn my HP yellow, but it did not work. I'm too strong for you. We Obviously, we take a, a treasure chest in all circumstances. Nine golden rings, four calling birds. We go straight for the, the rank up there. Because I'm realizing I'm starting with um, yellow pigment. So my, my main guy has got to be my fire starter here. My twisted fire starter. It's a boss. I'm in hell. What's your thing? You have decay? This enemy has a 44% chance on dying to spawn a Goa. Upon performing an attack, they'll attempt to move left or right. We would like to generate red pigment so that this guy can then do his cleave attack. He's got it all figured out. Probably the greatest master this game has ever seen. So let me start with... Let me start with a brutal takedown. You just start like this. We smack you hard, you give me red pigment. You then get moved here. You need blue pigment to do anything, which we're not going to receive. You can stay alive. Okay. Boyle, you're moving over to the side here. We're going to perform a hardened clobber, which will also give get us a kill here. Now we have four red pigments. I forgot what transfusion does. That's okay. That's a shirt. You guys don't understand. There's nothing weird about it. If you can handle the Siren boss fight in Darkest Dungeon 2, you can handle this as well. I don't really think I want to slap you. I think it would be nice to get a heal. But it's going to cost us... If I use this, it will hurt us to do the heal. 30% self-damage! No shot, man. So you actually, you're attacking, I'm realizing now. So it would be nice if you moved out of the way. But I already moved you here, so that wasn't very smart. Um, and you're doing, you're just getting some shield. Well, I don't think you really need to, you, you could just be here. And then I will end turn. Okay, you boiled me, took five damage. I got some purple. That purple is no longer purple. They are shielding themselves. Shield will block your damage. Fortunately, their shield doesn't move with them. So you can push them out of it. I didn't know about that. Okay. 
you've moved over there. Understood. Well, I have moves that can move you. Like I could, I could put you over here, and then I could do confident parry, which will cause you to lose your shield when you're moved. And it moved you there. I mean, I'm a simple man. How much damage this does? Eight damage? You still have one shield. How do you still have one shield? I moved them, oh, the shield that shows up in the lair in front of them. I moved them back into the shield like a fool. You need blues, right? Honestly, I think you should move here. I know it seems a little crazy, but then you should heal left and right allies. Nice little lick. Okay, everybody's feeling a little happier as a result. Then you should move over here. And um, you should just deal... I mean, it's heavy overkill. Oh, 10% oh, self damage, but... I, I, well, you didn't need to do it. You know, you, I, I, I can't just slap you. I can do uh, 8 damage. Okay, I'm going to do it. That was not necessary. I should have stayed still and maybe just attacked this guy. But once you move, you're, you're, you're stuck there. He's trying to flood me with pigment. That's all right. I, I welcome the pigment, quite frankly. Um, similar to last turn, any chance I could do this and maybe toss like a, a, a yellow in here? 10% self-damage to get a nice heal on you. Mm, how about this one? Substantially worse. 20% self-damage to get a nice heal on you. You know what? Why don't you just start and you'll do 11 damage to the opposing enemy? Costs you 10% self-damage to get it done. I'm willing to spend money to make money. You're dead anyway. Transfusion. 10% wrong damage, or self-damage per wrong pigment. We're figuring it out. I think we can handle more combat right now. I'm a, I like to learn on the job. Give me as much combat as possible early. Because we're, we're starting to get a loop, and the loop is what it's all about. Three yellow pigment. You know how we start. We move over here. We do... Yeah, no, we need red pigment. Okay, and then we... It'd be nice to do seven damage to you and then have you move in front of this guy so that he doesn't have to waste his move. Oh, but you're a little even... You're d double slippery. You're, I understand that you're double slipperiness. Okay. Without moving... I could, um, no, 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 that's not right. Hang on, you have to be this guy. This costs three. This one costs three as well. I've got an idea. Watch this. Why don't you move over here and do a slap? That generates one extra red pigment. Oh, two extra red pigments. I don't think you should take a shot. I think this guy should take a shot. We're going to have Boyle move over here now, and he's got so much pigment, man, that he should just do a, um, a spine cracker. Get you killed. Even more red pigment to smoke you next turn. I'll end my turn. Gross. You are all coated in oil. When smacked, you will slide around. But stay away from fire. Seriously, stay away from fire. Okay, one damage. I'm not going to cry about that. It would be very nice to get a big heal on this guy. Requires some more blue. What is a purple? Purple is just a different color, I suppose. 20% self damage. So you'll probably take two, but then you'll heal for one. Let's give it a shot. You took one. Oh, oh you took two and then you healed for one. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we got the heal off on this guy first. Oh, you're right. I shouldn't have used the red. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. What's Hans's ability? Using the wrong pigment prevents this party member from healing themselves. That's not a that's not a passive. That's actively bad. Well, you still need to do 11 damage. I'm sorry to tell you this. We should have done it last turn. You're going to take uh is it, when it says 10% self damage, 10% of the damage you do is reflected to self or 10% of your max health is, is dealt to you?
12 coins. Let's see if we're going to a shop. 10% of your max health. Okay, thank you, thank you. A shop. Prosthetics. This party member is one level higher than they would otherwise be. The item is destroyed at the end of combat. Apply four shield to this party member's current position upon receiving any kind of damage. Add yellow essence to this party member as a passive. Allows lucky pigment to be toggled to colors other than just blue. I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> Take a penny, leave a penny. Gain a coin upon performing an ability with this party member. 50% chance to lose a coin on turn end. This item is a 4% chance to be destroyed on activation. Okay, I'm hang on, I'm looking at probability. Every time you, you spend a coin to buy it, every time you use an ability, you get a coin with this party member. 50% of the time you then lose that coin. 4% of the time the item is destroyed. 1 in 25. So on average, you would expect this to maybe pay out like... Am I correct to assume that maybe you expect it to pay out six coins over the course of the average lifespan? Like it's, it's, it's median payout will be 12 coins because it's one in 25 chance to break, but it's a 50% chance that you don't get the coin off of it every time. Oh no, wait, that's a good point. It is 12 and a half. Less if you end turn without using an ability. Well, yeah, but not really, because if you don't use an ability, oh, if yeah, if you don't use an ability, it can't be destroyed. So this seems like you, it's a GIC. Okay, I get it. Oh, you still get the fifty percent chance to lose the coin if you don't use an ability. I see. So uh, all right, all right, I'm not sold anymore. At the beginning of combat, increase lucky pigment chance to ninety nine percent. Start combat with an additional three yellow pigment. I mean, this sounds pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that. Is that good? Yeah. Well, usually it depends. From the items menu, you can put it on a party member. Experiments. Okay. That goes on you. The furtive pigment. So easily forgotten. I like this guy. I like this freak right here. Life was so beautiful. Who could have thought that death could be just as gorgeous? This is the life. Okay, okay. Most people are useless. This is Robocop. Um, hello. A crowd of strange men clad in leather speaking obscenities to each other. Oh no, it's the, um, it's Hellraiser. What are you guys up to? Incoherent, muffled speaking. The tallest of the three slaps him in the back of the head to shut him up. We're explorers of the terrible and beautiful things that lurk inside. Well, we're explorers as well. Do you guys want to come with us? You misunderstand. You're still invested in the physical world. You wish to explore the thing we're working to escape. With a look, he silences the others. I can see in your eyes that you're but a pathetic whelp. And like a whelp, you desperately suckle for attention from anyone more competent you can find. Run along. I'm sure whatever abomination turns you inside out will have lots of fun playing with your gaudy bones. All right. Honestly, you gotta try. You clench your hand into a fist. You start walking toward the trio. This is a bad idea. As the moment arrives, you swing, aiming to strike the tallest in the back of the head. He turns effortlessly and catches your fist with his remaining arm before the strike can land. There's an interest deep in his eyes. You were just going to take on all three of us? You didn't think this through at all, did you? Just all emotion? He releases your hand. You're an idiot, but I think you're the kind of idiot I've been looking for. I beat the game. He's incredible. Okay. All right, golden boy. Let's go find out how you die. Burnout has become an ally. Let's take a look at burnout real quick. Of course, he's got a slap. Sudden decimation. Deal 10, 10 damage to the opposing enemy. 90% chance to decrease sudden decimation's damage by 2. 30% chance to refresh this party member. Can, can I get a, a, a clue for what refresh means? You can also put party members in the back. 
more party members equals dodging enemies is harder. That makes sense. Oh, more turns. Oh, did you say 30%? Knuckle Buster. Deal 8 damage to the opposing enemy. 75% chance to decrease Knuckle Buster's damage by 1 to 2. 40% chance to refresh this party member. This guy's crazy, dude. <laughs> this guy's nutty. Forget uh, Boil. We're using our, our pigment on, uh, on Burnout now. Yeah, we'll fight it like a large frog. And a bunch of other guys, too. Keep an eye out for monsters that take up two or more spaces. Maybe if you lined it up, you could hit them more than once. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Okay. We have six red pigments. Six, and I don't know why I said that's red. <laughs> that is definitely yellow. <laughs> okay. Just let me see here. Let me let me take a look. Eight damage to the opposing enemy. I don't really like you. I, I would like you to be gone. Sure, I'm gonna I'm gonna perform an ability. Let me catch you with one of those. We have more yellow pigment. We needed red pigment. I forgot we should attack an enemy that has red HP. It's my mistake. Okay. N now we got some problems. But you know what? Knuckle Buster does eight damage. And it only requires one pigment. So we can take 10% self damage and then hit this guy. 40% chance we get to go again. He's refreshed. Your life is over. <laughs> Let's go. So now we knuckle buster him again. Another 40%. He did not get refreshed again, but that's okay. That gave us enough to come over here with boil and now boil's got some uh oh we should we could have moved him here and then done this and this but that's fine we'll just we'll go for a, a simple spine cracker unfortunately it's a huge overkill but you know we're gonna make mistakes it happens from time to time and then this guy's gonna do some attacks so we gotta be we gotta be a little cautious okay You got, we need blues for you, right? I feel like you got to move. Move here. Oh, you got to move. Oh, then it's going to hot swap. Nah. Okay, stay there for a second. I really want to heal you. I think we, though, we have to use heals left and right. Even though it's probably going to screw up. Uh, it, it's not going to hit the guy on the far left, but that's okay. I wanted, like, you here and you here. Excuse me, this is not I'm, my turn. I'm not ready for it to be over yet. We're going to move you to the side. Oh, there's no space. <laughs> there's not enough space to have everybody not be <laughs> hit. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Well, in that, let's, let's hot swap you so our healer doesn't take damage. All right. Everybody else has used abilities. End turn. I guess we didn't have to have two of them get hit, though. All right, you have 25 yellow HP. Can I get can I get a, a explain like I'm five uh, on on what purple pigment is and why it has a star or maybe it's again just a different color. Your health is purple. Yeah, it's purple and it, oh because I got hit I generated purple pigment. I see, I see. Okay, I, I drew a causal relationship there. I understand. I get the picture. Well, we got plenty of yellows. We need to generate reds, but that's not going to happen. I would like to do a brutal takedown on you. We're going to generate yellows. We're probably going to take some self-damage in the process. That's life in, in this business. This costs three. Be 30% of my max health. That's very scary. Let me think about this for a moment. I'm going <laughs> to... I'd rather lose 20% of my max health. Shuffle them, please. Thank you. 
I'd, I'd rather lose 20% of my max health and maybe you'll slide a little bit more to the side. Slide to the left so that this guy can attack you and then, oh, you slid to the right, you piece of junk. <clears throat> Your sudden decimation does 10, which means you're definitely going to get a kill. It would be nice if we could get a, a heal first. Heal this party member and the left unit. Admittedly, we take 10%, but I think it's worth it to give this guy 4 HP back. And then, you come here, and please do a sudden decimation that'll admittedly hurt you, but at least it will kill this large man. Dude, this is really fun. I'm starting to pick it up. It's a little, you know, I when I looked at the screenshots, I thought it was like Final Fantasy 1. I, I attack with a sword, 8 damage. I attack with a sword, 8 damage. But there's a lot more, like, strategy involved in it. I'm starting to pick it up. You know what? Why don't you toss me a... Wait, we got 13 coins. Let me rank up um, Burnout. He seems amazing. He can get a Roman Decimation and a Bone Buster. <laughs> Eight, nine, nine damage for one red is crazy. Rank him up. And then honestly, I sort of, maybe I'm a little psychotic here. I kind of feel like Boyle should just move to the back. Because we're not using him much for red pigment anyway. So I'm like... It makes it maybe a little easier to dodge and he's not much of a, he's not as much of a liability HP wise. But can, can he still attack from the back? That doesn't move him into the back? It's true, Burnout could be a red engine if he takes damage. I didn't even think about that. Active parties at the top. So I could drag him. Ah! No, it's okay. I mean, I guess I don't know why I would do that. I guess I'll just leave you up there. Maybe I could learn more. And take me to, to purple. Um, next le boss fight? Next level? Roids versus me. He gets to go five times after I go once. <laughs> uh, two of which are bone breaking attacks, two of which are attacks, and one of which is a heal. This is a scripted death. I know a scripted death when I've seen one. Okay, we'll start with this simple uh, eight damage to generate some reds. I'll read his passives. Upon performing an attack, this enemy will attempt to move left or right. What is this? These are their, their these are their abilities. Okay, I understand. So this is one and two. This is going to be three, and this is going to be four. Okay. Flex. Roids performs flex as an additional attack. Heals him. Okay. Multi-attack, four actions per turn. Upon receiving two or more direct damage, cancel one of the abilities. He, but he just took eight damage. He just took eight damage. He didn't cancel an ability. It did? Oh, he had five before. Okay, never mind. I'm just lying. Um, okay, you come over here. I want maximum chance to refresh this party member. So that we can take off even more abilities. It did not work. That's life in the, in the six. Um, I guess I can see how much damage you're gonna do. No, it just says painful amounts. Boil. Why don't you do me a favor and move here, and then do your cleave attack. It will take off one ability, and then also they'll be slippery and move. No? Okay. They attempted to move, I guess. And then, you still, you got one attack left. We've only got you. I can't do two damage. The slap doesn't do enough to, to stop you. Um, I feel like you gotta do something and then move, get out the way. I guess I could at least perform ability. 
because the heals will hurt me so much. I could at least slap you to get some red pigment for next turn and then move you out of the way. And you've got the most HP. Maybe you could, uh, maybe you could live. Three damage. You're not looking very good. You look all frail and weak. All damage dealt to you will be doubled. Give it a few turns and it should wear off. And then you've healed for five. And then you moved again. This doesn't seem that crazy. I'm feeling okay. Now you're basically useless now. Um, I feel like you should come over here. Well, we got to do, do as much damage as possible to stop the attacks from coming in. Why don't you come over here and then do a spine cracker? That's a lot of damage. You take a nasty hit, it removes one for you, and we got even more pigment. Now, why don't you move over here, and we're going to, again, go for maximum chance to get refreshed, to take off as many abilities as we can. Did not work. It's okay. I guess I should definitely hot swap you out of there so you don't get smoked. Um... Oh, these are free yellows I get every turn. So true. I would love to do eight damage to you and take one of your attacks away. We're about to overflow, so we got to be careful. You should heal. I'm okay just having you heal burnout. As long as, like, is, is it the most direct left enemy or left ally? Or do I have to move one over so that it's, like, adjacent to me? It shows the positions. Ah, so it does. So it does. It'll cost me... Well, I could heal you for three without hurting myself. Let's do that instead of healing you for four and hurting myself one. Very nice. We might overflow, though. Careful, you are overflowing. You can only hold so much pigment. Any more than the 10 you can normally hold in overflow will begin. Try attacking nothing just to burn through pigment. I can only do one ability per turn! Okay, now we gotta go for the KO. Deal 12 damage, you're dead. I killed the boss. I thought there was no shot! My new currency, 18. You've unlocked the Rib of Eve, which can now be found in chess. You unlocked the Can of Worms, can now be found in shops. You know what, I got 18 coins. Let's go to the dang shop. Holy cow, he is pogging off. Certificate of Exemption. Wrong pigment can be used without dealing damage to self. Oh! <laughs> Receiving direct or indirect damage destroys this item. That seems crazy. Yes. And just, you have to never get hit. Upon this party member receiving any kind of damage, there's a 35% chance to get ignore all future damage. If this party member's health is below 25%, they will gain fleeting and flee next turn. Increase this party member's maximum health by 5. Add red essence to this party member as a passive. Essence will allows lucky pigment to be toggled to other colors than just blue. I don't know what that means, okay? And I'm scared. I think I, let's, let's save some gold to level up. Now, I think the certificate of exemption goes on, uh, that goes on our healer. So that he can cast his heals more efficiently. And then give me some treasure. You've obtained nine golden coins. You know what? We got 17 coins. Let's get Hans ranked up then. His mend will now cost less. I guess costing less is not always a good thing. Because if it costs more, you can avoid overflow. It's true. Maybe, maybe we just go crazy on burnout and get him 
Get him stacking, man. I'm, I'm ranking on my DPS. I'm sending him to the moon. I'll fight a diamond. Yeah, I'm ready. I did true myself. You're not wrong. <laughs> okay, we start... Oh, these guys are quite strong. We start with six yellows. Let's look at the you. Okay, you got everything. Upon death, consume all stored pigment of the enemy's health color. Are you crazy? Skittish. The enemy cannot perform the same action twice in a row and must perform all of its actions before... Okay, okay. Okay, someone... We have to kill a unit or someone's going to take a hit this turn. Why don't we try to kill this guy? The writhing Spoggle. Move over here. Catch him with the Brutal Takedown. 3% chance to refresh this party member. It makes me sick. Okay, two reds. How much damage do you do with this total decimation? 14 of it. Next step, hang on, hang on. You come over here. And please do a hardened clobber. That's a great pigment generator. Then... You come here. Try to get a kill and get refreshed. Imagine, imagine... You took all my red pigment, you piece of junk. <laughs> you are about to attack, which is not great, but you can survive it. You're just going to shield. Big whoop. Okay. You come over here, and then we're going to heal. We can use... I'm not afraid to use my... I guess I should use my, my yellows in this case. What do you mean 20% self-damage? He's got a certificate of exemption. Wrong pigment can be used without dealing damage to self. Purples are worthless. Yeah, but aren't we aren't we generating three yellows every turn? So why shouldn't we use the yellows? Oh, I guess if we want to avoid overflow, because purples are essentially useless. Yellows are like slightly more useful. Maybe it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. I'm asking myself the wrong questions. Okay. Big heal. Okay, it's all right. We, there, we, trust, we trust the process. You've been gnawed. I didn't know that you were going to be the one taking a hit. That's my mistake. Then we got the dippings of the garden. You got a little shield, but then you've abandoned your shield. Okay. Well, with one red pigment. Well, we should probably kill you first. And then when you die, you're going to destroy all the purples, you idiot. Oh, I bet you feel stupid. Rip the exemption. No, no, no. Look, it's right there. It didn't die. Where are you attacking? Mouse over them to see where they're attacking. This one must be the uh, opposing. Never mind, I'm stupid. No, it's it's a complicated game. You weren't being rude. We don't want purples. We want reds. Would you do me a favor then and perhaps try a throat buster? <laughs> Phrasing. One of these days, we're going to get that 40% chance, man. How about you now move over here? You are going to do a spine breaker? I'd like to move you back. I've made a mistake. <laughs> I'm a fool. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do 10% self damage. He went like, "Ah." You're just going to shield anyway. Okay, then I'm going to do a 8 damage to you. And you... Honestly, no dis... I mean, I know he's not taking a hit this turn. Oh, you know what? We can, we can move you here and then do our cleave heal. Oh, we have no pigments. Never mind. <laughs> we are out of pigments. What'd you do? You just healed, you put a shield on yourself and then you move to the side? 
Okay, three yellows. You know how this has to start then. You go here. Issue a smack. Now we got purples, which at least allows you to do a heal. What are you doing? You're just generating a shield? Well, honestly, I think we slow roll it then. Move me over here. Give me a, a, a heal on this guy. We can take as much time as we need. This guy's just a... This guy's just like a support class. Who cares? That will end my turn. Like, honestly, if you're never going to attack, then I know, like, it, it sounds a little a little toxic, maybe. Maybe it's not toxic at all, but we, sh we should just farm up and get as many heals as possible. Yummy. Okay, and then I'll pass my turn. Literally, all my man does is make a shield. And they say you kill the tank first. Wait, is that MMO logic? Do you kill the tank first? Or am I talking out of my you-know-what? Let me get a quick uh, heal here. You always kill the healer first. That's why I was no good at TF2. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. As long as you're just moving... I will click this button at least one more time. And then we'll probably hot swap you two, and then we'll probably do it like two more times. Oh, he's doing an attack this turn! I mean, straight up, I'm moving you to the side and ending turn. I, I could still farm you. Wow, great attack. Okay, who are you attacking this turn? It must be dead ahead, okay. Or is it? I don't know. Because last time, it, like, the guy turned... Her, oh, it's a... <laughs> mouse over the timeline, and you can see it. Absorb, pure, skittish. Mouse over the icon on the timeline. I must be stupid. Oh, it's, it's, it's hitting everyone. It's... Oh, okay, it's a cleave attack. I... Okay, I, I get it. It's a cleave attack. Okay. So by definition, someone would get hit this turn. My two cents is we just we lethal you this turn instead. Um, we only have three power to work with, so I'm just gonna kill you. Still nice to get as much HP as possible. We've gained seven currency. Is this supposed to be like a game you can lose? Because I feel like I'm just, um... Maybe I'm just really smart, actually. Okay. Once you're caught in that chain, you are stuck. Entrapped, if you will. Constricted, to be precise. You cannot escape on your own, but someone else can swap in and take your place. This should wear off, unless something is keeping you constricted. What the heck? Only one man can move. Well, in this case, well, we could really use like a prayer here. I would say, I would say, I would say, hang on, you only do eight damage, right? That's so embarrassing. Let's see what you're doing. You're gonna hit me and move me to the left or right. And by me, I mean the golden head. You are going to heal. You're gonna decrease the maximum health of all of our party members. Hopefully just for this combat. First thought, okay? Brutal takedown, 8 damage. Get crapped on. Red pigment. Hot swap into the chain. Total decimation. We kill large man. I'm the, I'm the greatest to ever do it. Burnout is out of control. He's the, the owner of the Lament Configurum. Is that what it's called? I would fight exactly the same guys again without a doubt. <laughs> and, 
Oh no, but this time it's three large boys. Okay. Lament configuration. My mistake. My mistake. This time I'm not even chained. What are you doing? Produce one blue pigment. Cries harder produces three blue pigment. You are going to hurt and move. Well, I don't want to overflow, ideally. But I feel like we the best thing we could do is kill the, the one that's doing the heaviest sobbing. And we'll we'll keep it like pretty much the same way. Oh, that's a, that sound is our lucky pigment, I'm now realizing as well. See, I'm not as stupid as I used to be. This guy with his 40% chance to refresh has really... Oh, I guess it's only 30 on this one, right? All right, never mind. I'm not mad anymore. Now, we're not as likely to be overflowed. But you are taking a hit, so it would be nice to kill you. But I don't think we can kill you. And you're just crying? Okay, in this case... Why don't you do me a favor? Hot swap in here. Crack someone's spine open. That'll do ten. That'll do two extra damage to you. Or I guess I could just clean. You know, I'm, I'm willing to. You got to spend money to make money. Blue is essentially, it's near worthless to us. And then you come in here, and we'll do our. Yellows are least valuable right now. We'll do our heal. You're healing pretty well. You're about to take a small hit. Who cares? We got a little lucky pigment and turn. Five damage and some purples. Okay, I'm a, I'm a simple man. I see that some of my teammates are, are wounded. So let's immediately open up with, uh, with another heal. Give me purple two blues. Okay, we have two reds remaining. How much damage does Throat Buster does 11 damage? Move over here, hit him with a quick Throat Buster, cost one red, get smoked, get refreshed. Now I can't move again, but maybe this guy, because he's, maybe I could cause him to move. I don't think that's gonna be necessary though. I think we'll just break your spine. And then move you over here. And then, oh, it doesn't quite do enough damage. Oh, you know, I, I could at least, like, confident parry you. And then everybody's used an ability, right? Oh, you haven't used an ability, but I got nothing that hits you. And you've already used your ability. Okay, well. I guess you could attack nothing just to avoid burnout, but that's not something we really need to do this turn. Why don't you just avoid getting hit, presumably? What the heck is this move? Becomes an instrument of the ungod? This seems bad. Oh, you could have just swapped boil with burnout. It's very true. Alright. So you have 15 HP. Is that supposed to be scary? That's, that's nothing. Here's 11 damage, right to the dome. 40% chance to refresh, we're refreshed. Get smoked, you stink. We definitely should have healed on this turn, but I, I, was, I was too in the zone. What happens if you beat the game in the tutorial? Do you then become the owner of the game? Increases this party's maximum health by seven. On turn start, randomize this party member's health color. That's two bonuses. That's two very good things. Because we don't do anything with pro. Well, I guess it's, we'd rather have you take damage and get red pigment. But we put this on boil. Can you put two items on the same? No, you can't put two items on the same guy. Not that it matters, but put this on boil. Boyle gets hit. He's not going to give us purple instead, possibly. I love it. Okay, move me, move me forward. I don't need this guy yet. I think we got a good party going on here. How do you remember the difference between fusilli, fettuccine, penne, farfalle, etc.? Please relax, Italy. 
I don't know. It's like asking how do you keep in mind the difference between a circle and a square and an octagon and a hexagon and, and so on and so forth. They're just shapes. Fusilli, a little corkscrew, penne's a, a little tube with sharp ends. Farfalle is the bow tie. Fettuccine is like a long flat noodle. I'm not a shape rotator, and even I know the even I know the shapes of the pastas. I do like eating pastas. Could I rotate them? Well, if I had to rotate them, Fusilli would be my favorite to rotate. There's no doubt about that. I only know how to rotate them with my fork when I'm doing the. Okay, let me take a look at you here. Change all enemies' health to the health color of this enemy, or attempt to. Upon taking damage, you'll move to the side. So slippery is skittish, but for taking damage instead of doing it. And then what's what's your thing? You're both just Jumble Guts. This is no big deal. We got Hollowing Jumble Guts and we got Flummoxing Jumble Guts. It sucks to attack you because you fill us with purples that are basically a waste product. But we can use those on our healer, I suppose. You're also dealing some damage. now. Wait, no, you're dealing some damage. They're going to move to the left or right three times and then do a painful amount of damage to the opposing party member and inflict three ruptured. Okay, that is, sounds like annoying as hell. So I would rather just not deal with that, if you don't mind. <laughs> so... Ah, oh, but we're only going to generate blues. We might have to take some self-damage. And you have yellow HP. Okay, I'm, I understand. Well, you know what? If I move you over one... And then have you do a spicy attack. You'll take damage, which will generate some red pigment. And it does a lot of damage. Okay, self-damage. Note to self, self-damage apparently does not generate pigment. That's a very valuable piece of information for me to have. We can at least smoke you so you're not dying. Or you're not doing damage, I should say. We are now focused with Nowak. That's good. You should do a, a heal. And I would just settle for my left heal here that also will heal me for one because we actually have the right setup. Now, what's your thing again? What are you doing? Vomits produces three pigment. Oh, you're just trying to flood me. No, 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 no problem. I don't really want to take self damage here. I passed my turn. But I, wait, now that I think about it, I'm like, I don't know how we're going to do. Oh, you know what? We could just do, do as much damage as possible with Noak. And then attack nothing to... Okay, I understand. We got this. This is no sweat. Move you here. Do a brutal takedown. We're just trying to avoid the flood. And then we absolutely like have to heal. We have to do something that costs as, as much uh, pigment as possible. We could attack nothing. We don't have the right colors for it, though, so we would take self-damage, so let's wait for it. Okay, three yellows. Perform a brutal takedown on you. Yeah, the certificate has gone crazy, right? Like, it's... I like a game that allows you to break it. No disrespect to some other roguelites. Some other roguelites would go, um, oh, no, that's not how it works. You broke the certificate immediately. This one is like, oh, you're having fun? Keep it going. I'll fight a, a flying spray bottle. Yeah, other roguelites be like, um, this effect only triggers once per turn. <laughs> Pathetic. Now, it's a little bit more complicated here. 50% chance to deal a painful amount of damage to a random party member. So we can't really dodge that. You're trying to flood me, but you produce yellow, which is, it could be worse. You would, you flood me with red? Brother, you get to live forever. The certificate? Bro, the certificate is still alive. Stop crying. It's literally right there. 
So I don't know why. I, I'm not mad at the. Oh, it's for because of the random party. I see your point. Okay. There's somebody saying it last time. They were like, "You just ruined the certificate," and I'm like, "I, I don't know. I've done it 30 times and never ruined the certificate. I don't know why that time was different." Well, in that case, it would be nice to kill one of them. If we could kill one of them and, and have the chances that our healer gets hit, that would be nice. So why don't we just start with you? And, um... I mean, I think we're, we're kind of relying on the throat buster here. Well, let me think about this. Maybe it makes more sense. Hey, we'll start with using our yellows to generate reds on this guy. Generates two reds for us and moves you over here. We also got a lucky pigment. That's great for our healer. Then you come over here. Oh, you're right. Exertion cancels their attack. We can just stop them from attacking. Well, honestly, in that case, my ass is gonna hot swap you back. <laughs> and then can you just give him a you can give him a total decimation. You got the reds for it. Didn't refresh, but we stopped the attacks from coming out. That's nice. Um, and we still got two reds remaining. I don't mind getting flooded with yellows. I, I could live with it. Why don't you do me a favor and do a... Uh, a sp uh... Just thinking about it. How much is that 11 damage? This would do 8 damage to, the, to you. Yeah, I could live with that. Let's do 8 damage to you so we take 0. We definitely should have moved before we did this. I might be stupid, because then I want to move you here anyway. And then we want to heal you with the flower. Okay, end turn. And we don't have any random attacks. My two cents? I think they should add a hard mode. Because when you're, when you're great at gaming, like some of us are, mostly me, um, I mean, it's just, it's, the, the things you can accomplish are unbelievable. Uh, right off the bat, you should do a hardened clobber, my man. Because look at this, now you've canceled both of their attacks. Madness. And then, why don't you just do a brutal takedown? Send this dude to the, to the gulag. We have too much, um, <laughs> we, need to, we need to spend, uh, we need to do some spending. What does transfusion do again? Convert enemy's health to the health color? Is there, isn't there one that destroys all of the, after three rounds, fleas? Upon receiving six or more direct damage, cancel one of his enemy's actions. Well, you know what? If you get refreshed, you'll be able to spend more. Makes perfect sense. We should have used the one with the highest refresh chance, I think. You did not get refresh. Oh, you did get refresh! Let's go! Move over here, idiot! Um, you should j do this. It gives you the maximum refresh chance. And is exact lethal. You're now on ability used. You're on ability used. You're on ability used. We may not overflow. Move here. Do your cleave heal. He's not doing... Oh, I, my lucky pigment. <laughs> Funny mushrooms used. Oh, my, my health has now become taupe. It's fine. Let me do a quick uh, total decimation. How many floors is a run? Is it is it Slay the Spire? There's, uh, there's three floors? Because I think I'm going... Infinite, essentially. Inflict curse to the opposing enemy at the end of each turn. Deal seven damage to the opposing enemy if they're cursed at the end of each turn. Honestly, seems like the kind of thing to you you might put on you, because you're gonna be in a position preferably to never get hit ever, because it'll break your certificate. 
So instead, you're in a position where sometimes you take damage. Also, we do have 32 life. Or 32 gold. We should probably rank up a little bit. This must be the boss store. <laughs> this never-ending story ass. <laughs> Okay. Well, this looks like a boss to me. Let's let's get some rank ups. Oh, you're max for the area. Okay. Well, you you haven't even ranked up once yet. It's Thirty minutes. Heals more. Heal far left, left, right, and far right allies. Five health is reaching across the aisle. Cost two blues. Twenty two left. Cleave is super nice. Seething Rat. 10 damage to the opposing enemy. I will say, I feel like the, the our starting dude, because we always... He's like our leader. He's our initiator. He's Jimmy Rollins. He, he's our leadoff hitter. We should level him up so he doesn't do uh, 8 damage. 10 would have been nice in a variety of situations. The Ouroboros. Okay. Start with preparation, okay? Ain't no whack. Coil moves all party members left. Deals a painful amount of damage to the opposing party member. Okay. So you... I understand. And then this is just a damn question mark. So, like... You're moving everybody to the left. You're crushing. And then there's a question mark. I understand. So it would be nice to do 35 damage to you so not everybody moves to the left. So let's start you right here. And have you do a clean takedown to generate some red. He's overexert. Bro, he freaking sucks. This enemy cannot be moved. Overexert 6. This enemy is dying and cannot be healed. If all remaining enemies have withering, this enemy will immediately die. It's incredible. Now, these two enemies are going to get hit. Or these two allies in, in position two and three will get hit. I think, and you're going to generate blues for us, which is like not great. But I feel like we, you got to kill the head, obviously. I feel like one thing you could do, you could start with a swap right here. And then go crazy on the head with a total decimation. Did not refresh us. Did do a decent amount of damage. Now. You. You're going to take a hit. I put you here so you could do a cleave, okay? I know it's going to do 20% of your max health to you. Might as well use the yellows, I guess. And then I'm just going to bank on you not dying. We generated a staggering amount of blue. 21 HP, you're okay. Then, you right here, I would love to be able to heal you, but like, there's no way for me to get out. So actually, I have no idea what your role is. <laughs> you could slap for one and generate some red. Your other heal? Heal left, right, and far right. I guess I could, I could move you to the head, and then I could heal you a little bit. That's true. That's very true. Let's... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very nice. And then end my turn, and... Everybody's been... Oh, that's right. Everybody gets moved to the left of the... No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. What, what move did we cancel? I thought we canceled the... The tail moving us to the left. We canceled the crush instead. Read passives of the body. Upon receiving direct damage, reroll one of the enemy's abilities. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, well, you got to attack first. You're the overexerter. You're moving us to the left. No, yeah, you're moving us to the left. You're moving us to the left. So nobody's taking any damage this turn. 
So we should just go crazy on the head. Because we're all just moving to the left. So if anything, you should attack. I don't know if you have to move. Are you occupying? You're only occupying one space. Move me here. And then attack the, the tail so we generate some red. And then hopefully go sicko mode here with the with the total decimation. We got so much pigment, man. It's crazy. You should just use your heal to get rid of some uh, some orbs. And I'll, then I, I mean, almost feel like you should come out here and just take some oh we should have done it a different order we should have had you come out and do the spine cracker which is going to do a lot of damage to yourself and then do the heal but why not replace the yellow with the blue for heal well the 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 cleave heal uses a yellow so if we use the blue I mean, because we have the certificate, it wouldn't make that big of a di difference, I guess. But it's, it's not a blue only. It's a yellow, blue, blue. This one's a blue, blue. Haha. -ha. That enemy has been cursed. Curse is the slow death. They can no longer be healed for the rest of combat. Now is the time to strike. Okay, we've been shuffled. My certificate of exemption has been destroyed. I need to see a turn ledger to figure out what happened there. Was it, oh, because it was cursed, it took seven damage from the curse, which re-rolled its ability to an attack? No, the head just bit you. Oh, because its abilities are hidden. Uh, okay, I get the picture. Step one, we go sicko mode. Use a, a, a throat buster. One red. We did not refresh. You should send out a sicko heal. That's a great sicko heal right there. And we have to have the right stuff to not damage ourselves anymore because we lost the certificate. Beautiful, beautiful move, okay? We need to generate some red pigment. Which is going to necessitate a clean takedown. Now let me take a look here. You're doing something we don't know, and you are doing a painful amount of damage to two units, which is not great. Although I could kill you, I would rather you didn't get a chance to uh, kill my healer. Oh, I'll probably move out of the way to be fair, but I still want to reroll your attack because your attack scares me. So let's let's do a let's do a spine cracker. Oh, we, uh, we're going to take a little damage in the process. Toss me a purple. It's our least valuable pigment. Your move is now... All party members move to the left, which is not relevant. And then Hans, move out of there. This sounds like a song by the Prodigy. The head... has eaten uh, Robocop. Burnout is dead. Is there some sort of demon magic you can use to bring him back? Yes, I'm not going to, though. Stop getting people killed. Easy. My best unit is dead? That's unfortunate. There's nothing, nothing positive about that. Would you come over here and murk the tail? I need, to, I need these to be... I need these to be back, please. You can just do a slap and kill this guy. Move over here. Um, he takes double damage. Hit him with the... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know what? Start with the start me with a slap. Well, I've already moved him over here. I might as well smack him. Okay, start, start with the spine cracker. You can use your yellow. You can use your blue. 20% self damage. 20 health remains. Let me get a slap. Oh, I don't even know. I should have used a yellow because I thought this slap uses a yellow. I didn't know. I didn't know. 
Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. I'm on the... No, it still does use a yellow. Okay, whatever. Take a take a blue. Blue's the least valuable. You just got slapped to death by a flower. We're taking 6% party damage. Ah! Get out of there! Move, 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 move! I lived. Okay, I mean, we gotta kill the head this turn. Funny mushrooms have been used. Please do a spine cracker. You know what we get? <laughs> 20 damage. This does... Okay, I got a, I got a beautiful play. Flower moves over. Does a one-piece one slap. Generated reds for us. Please tell me we can use those reds. I'd like to drag one. Uh, no, they're in overflow. Can't be done. Okay, well, you know what? 10% self-damage for you. Here, here come two more for y'all. You come over here, perform a clean takedown. The fight is over. The boss has been killed. You unlock the firstborn. You unlock strange fruit. You unlock box of metals. Okay, we do have a problem though. I'm missing a guy. <laughs> Boss is shaking visibly. Is this it? This is it. That thing. You have to understand it's too dangerous to let it live, even for a moment. It's a malformed child of unspeakable sins. Please show no mercy, no matter how much it hurts. This thing is no man. Its words are a poison you cannot possibly overcome. I promise. He only has 12 HP. I feel like we shouldn't do this. I feel like we're... We're making a mistake. We're playing into the tutorial's hands. <laughs> it's me! I killed me! I'm freaking looped, man. <laughs> I'm not even real. <laughs> kind of a sick jacket, though. The sunken place. I saw it earlier in the stream. YouTube video title? Undertale meets Darkest Dungeon meets The Binding of Isaac? An ancient man. You know, like from the 1800s? Oh, so I won my first run. I'm the best to ever do it. Well, let's throw in a slash marker. Brutal Orchestra. 